Right now we are actively pursuing or following two hound trucks that both have hounds in them. We're in the Polk County Forest. So we're trailing an active hounding truck. We see a hound box in the back. You can see there head popping out they're howling pretty loudly we've been watching them all morning in this area the northern area of uh, polk county forest um here in zone three we're gonna go ahead and stay on him We're also going to keep an ear out for other hounds we may hear in the surrounding forest around us. If you can, try to get some of that barking. Just... Yeah, at this point it's hard to tell what, where the barking we're hearing is coming from. It could be coming from right here in this truck in front of us. There are dogs, probably about half a dozen or so, right there. And uh, we'll see if they get let loose. Have a number I can give the warden? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm sorry, what was your first name again? Rod. Rod? Uh -huh. Okay. And I'll just make one contact for both cars. And so on. Okay. And like I said, I wasn't out there. We just got a complaint that you guys were following him all over the place and it was driving him nuts and he was yep. nervous. He didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Well, so. we told him yesterday who we were. Okay. Or not me personally, but our partners. But still, you know, we, we, we want to be respectful and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, but at the same time, we want to be able to have access to the public lands too. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that other car is with you guys too then? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll just get their information and I'll it's just... just... Those are the only two vehicles we have presently. Okay. All right, it is, uh, let's see, December 3rd, third day of the hound hunt. We uh, had the hound hunters uh, documenting us, which is okay. They filed a harassment complaint. They called the local sheriff's department. Sheriff uh, just came over to talk to us and we explained to him our meeting with the DNR that we'd be monitoring the hunt and we've been maintaining a respectful distance as agreed, about 50 yards. We're not here to interfere or break any laws, just document public policies on public lands. And uh, if you had any questions, I gave him my phone number. I told him I'd be more than happy to talk to him or any law enforcement officers. And um, he sent us on our way. Now he's talking to the hunters over there, getting their side of the story. Uh, we all have documentation, both sides, to show that nothing has went on. We haven't in, uh, insulted anybody, even had any verbal exchanges at all. So it'll be interesting to see what happens.